Hi everybody, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CVO Wellness. My name is Ali, and today we are going to be talking about how to get through any kind of tough or life hard moment using the four agreements. So this is something that I use in my life, um, something that I've learned a lot about in therapy, and that I just find is like very applicable to honestly like day-to-day -day life, but then any hard situation that you might be going through. So if it's a breakup or you're going through a situation ship or like a tough time at work or a tough time with a friend or a family member, it's really helpful to ground yourself in the four agreements and walk through them and like remind yourself throughout the day what they are and try to stay as true to them as possible because it helps guide you on a path that is going to lead to just more like peace of mind and more contentment because you can stick to these agreements and they'll help you process these kind of confusing or hard emotions. So I want to make a video about it. There is a full book that I highly recommend that you read if you are interested in learning more about the four agreements, but here's like basically a crash course in how to look at any situation through the four agreements. So the four agreements are one, be impeccable with your word, two, don't take anything personally, three, don't make assumptions, and then four, always do your best. So the first one of being impeccable with your word is that you want to stay true to yourself and keep your integrity strong. So you don't want to speak things that you don't believe, aka you don't want to gossip or spread false information or talk poorly on someone if you're a person who values, you know, kindness and empathy. Um, so this is super helpful, like say if you're going through a breakup, we can use that example for this video. Being impeccable with your word is like saying, you know what, I deeply cared about this person at one point in my life, or maybe I still do. Um, I know deep down, like they have a desire to be loved and want to be loved. And even though they might have done hurtful things to me, or I feel upset or angry with them, it's not on me to give judgment to this person or to comment on their behavior. I can only control myself and how I respond and how I show up in the world. Um, and one of my integrities is being kind, right? So I'm not going to talk poorly about this person or gossip about them or drag them through the mud. I'm going to be you know, impeccable with my word and make sure when I'm speaking, I'm speaking things that align with my values. As well, if you make a promise to someone, um, so maybe it's like, hey, we're going to take some space or hey, I'm going to show up for you here. Um, doing our best to be impeccable with our word and stay true to that um, and honor that because oftentimes, you know, we can say that we're going to do something and have the best of intentions and then we might go back on it or we might forget about it. And then that can be hurtful to the person or we can feel icky afterwards because we didn't stay true to ourselves. So trying as always to be impeccable with your word and only say what you mean um, and say it with kindness and say it with integrity. Okay, then the second one is to not take anything personally. So I use this one all the time in day-to-day -day life. So to basically not take anything personally is that, you know, things will happen around you all day long, stuff will happen to you, but you're not a victim, right? And just because someone behaves in a certain way or treats you a certain way, doesn't mean it's a personal attack on your character and being super true to yourself and knowing like, you know, this isn't personal. This doesn't have anything to do with me. Like I'm sure you're a great, wonderful person who cares about people and who is kind and who tries their best. Um, and oftentimes, you know, maybe like it's not getting invited to a group lunch and you're thinking, oh my gosh, like they all hate me or I'm being left out or what's going on here. But if you reframe it as like, hey, it's nothing personal. Like maybe they just only could get a reservation for four people or maybe they knew that I don't like that type of food. So they didn't bother asking me because they know I'm not going to enjoy it. Whatever it is, try not to take it personally. Let your ego go aside and just realize like, you know, people are going to act and behave in the way that they're doing and it's usually a reflection on them and has nothing to do with you. So just keep being the person that you want to be and showing up how you want to show up. Like I said, how someone behaves and treats you usually has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you. So just continue to be a good person uh, and don't take that personally and make decisions in your life that make you feel good. So if someone's not making you feel good or someone's like causing you to doubt yourself, maybe you need to re-question that relationship or that environment or situation and see ways that you can change it to help you feel better about it overall. So yeah, nothing others do is because of you. It usually is always because of them. Okay, the third one, don't make assumptions. So this kind of rolls off of don't take it personally, but don't make assumptions, ask questions, right? When we make assumptions, we A, don't give the other person or situation the benefit of the doubt. We often make ourselves feel worse about the situation and we make up 
you know, situations based off of our anxieties and our worries and not actually after the true facts of what's going on. So be very clear about like what you're trying to learn and understand, you know, be confident, show up for yourself, ask the hard questions, say, hey, like I noticed that you unfollowed me on Instagram and I'm just curious about why that was. Was it something that I posted that offended you or was it just because you're not interested in my content anymore um, or do you not want to be friends with me? I'm a little confused and I thought we had a really great relationship and so I just want to know if I've done anything to upset you. And that person might just say, hey, you know what? I actually unfollowed everybody off of Instagram because I didn't want to use it as an account to look at people's stuff anymore or you know I'm actually going through a really hard time right now with trying to find a job and I see you post all the time about your amazing job and that makes me you know feel a bit insecure so in order to protect my peace I just had to kind of turn that off for a bit and then you're gonna say like oh my gosh I totally understand like I get that it's you know it's hard to see that stuff and I'm here to support you and like help you in any way I can so just really try not to assume what people's intentions are um, and try to, if anything, assume the best. Um, but if you are confused, ask questions and get to the bottom of it because assuming stuff is never going to help you in any situation. Usually having that kind of uncomfortable or hard conversation where you go into it like maybe potentially getting your feelings hurt is going to be better than the hours, days, weeks on end where you're trying to figure out why someone is behaving a certain way. And you're never going to know unless you just ask the person directly. And again, if you don't necessarily love the answer, don't take it personally. It, it always usually reflects on that person and what they need. So try to drop the ego as much as possible and come at the situation as neutral as possible. Okay, and the last one that wraps these all up so perfectly and is one of my favorite agreements is to always do your best. So, you know, we can try to be impeccable with our word, we can try to not take things personally, we can try to not make assumptions, but at the end of the day, we are all human, we all slip up, we all have our bad days, we all spiral. Um, so doing your best when it comes to these four agreements is what matters the most. Have compassion for yourself. You know, I was going through last week a time where I was making all these assumptions and then I got, you know, wrapped up in my head and I just thought to myself, hey, I'm assuming right now, I don't know if this is the situation. I don't have to you know, stay in this negative spiral of assumptions. I'm gonna choose not to take it personally and address the person and ask them what's actually going on. And that made me feel so much better than spending another month going over it in my head. So you know, doing your best and understanding like, hey, if you've been doing it for the last week, doesn't mean you have to continue doing it on. Try your best to pick up on these thought patterns and pick up on these habits when you're in them and then course correct. So if, say you're trying not to gossip, right? That's you're trying to be impeccable with your word and you only want to say positive things. If you catch yourself out to lunch and you kind of get into like a gossip trend with your friend and you leave the lunch feeling a little bit icky, that's okay. Just acknowledge like, hey, I want to be impeccable with my word. I don't want to, you know, have that situation again. And the next time I go for lunch with this person, I'm going to make a mental note to first say to them, like, you know, I don't really want to gossip today. I'd rather just like hear about what's going on in your life or any positives that are happening um, or steer the conversation that way so you're more intentional and mindful about it. Those are how we make our wins, right? It's not doing it perfectly from the get-go. It's small little steps as we go and we learn. But as we're learning, we have compassion and we just try our best. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe or share it with a friend if you think it'll be helpful for them. Uh, as always, we are at CBO Wellness on Instagram. I try to post as much helpful information there as possible. Uh, so definitely check that out and we'll see you for another video soon.